Hey YouTube! Welcome back to my little chatty sassy corner here on YouTube where I'd like to talk about all things luxury fashion, be it luxury bags, luxury shoes, traveling with luxury, which is what we're talking about today, or just life's luxuries in general. Now, if you have not already done so, make sure to be subscribed. Thank you to the over 400 of you who have subscribed already. And if we hit 500 by Christmas, I will be doing a gift card giveaway. If we manage to hit that magic thousand number, I will be doing a luxury giveaway. And with that, let's get to talking about what we are today, which is traveling with luxury. So over the past few weeks, I have actually been flying a lot, which I have not really done except for earlier this year in Hawaii since COVID started. And one of the things that I've picked up on, particularly this trip, is luxury bags, luxury travel accessories, what people were wearing at the airports. And because I mean, when you're at the airport, you people watch and it just so happens, I think that the luxury things stick out a bit more to me than when I was in college because I didn't have as much of the luxury items. Now, the number one thing that you will see when you are in airport traveling Never falls. This is the thing that you will basically always be guaranteed to see in an airport. And it's a great travel bag. Mine is the GM. It is massive. It will actually fit under the seat, surprisingly. Well, it kind of fits under the seat. It's, it fits enough that the flight attendants let it pass. But the most popular size that you're going to see is going to be the MM, which is the slightly smaller version of this. Now, color-wise for the Neverfull, I was the only Damier Azur that I saw. I did see, of course, a lot of the monogram, but also a lot of the Damier Abin, because that's the one to be the one that absolutely shows the least amount of wear because it is coated leather and the canvas, you aren't going to see anything like color transfer or anything like that. So if you want durable, definitely go with the Damier Abin. If you want recognizable monogram, go with the monogram. If you want one that's going to be different from everyone else's, you can go with the white or go with the leather, but I actually did not see anyone carrying the leather versions of the Neverfull. Now, the other Louis Vuitton things that I saw quite a lot of. Heat balls! Now, I have the 55. Again, most of the ones that I saw were smaller than this. They were the 50, but still the bandolier, so it has the strap here. Now, what actually surprised me is that more so than the key balls, what I saw Louis Vuitton luggage wise was the rolling suitcases. Now, I've looked at the rolling suitcases just for curiosity's sake. And the thing that I don't like about the rolling suitcases is I don't feel like the wheels are very good quality. They show wear even in the store. And so it really surprised me to see so many different roller bags. The couple that I saw that was by far the most glamorous was a lady, she had her monogram rolling suitcase. She also had a special made order Birkin. Her husband had a matching backpack and rolling suitcase in the graphite damier, which is the black and gray checkerboard. And one of the things I noticed about his backpack, I thought that it was really a very nice looking backpack, particularly for men. But then I noticed I saw that backpack a lot more. So I'm going to be looking into the very specific model and putting a picture up here on the screen with the name. But I was very surprised to see so many men carrying Louis Vuitton backpacks in the airport. But the most popular purse that I saw out of all the different luxury brands was by far the Louis Vuitton Bloomsbury crossbody. And this is actually a retired style, so I was super surprised to see it so much. But it is a really, truly great crossbody, and it's a bag that I've liked for a long time. And so I think that it makes sense that you see people with crossbodies when you're traveling. I just thought it was really interesting that it was the retired style that I was seeing so much of instead of one of the newer styles from Louis Vuitton. Now, aside from Louis Vuitton, there are obviously a whole lot of other brands that are out there and they're in the airports. Louis Vuitton is just super durable because of the canvas. It makes a lot of sense. But one of the bags that I saw that I had never actually seen outside of a store before, so I'd never seen anyone carrying this, was the Chanel Deauville tote bag. And most of them were carrying the, I believe the smaller size of the Deauville and they were using it more like purses, but also kind of totish as well. 
And the thing that was really interesting to me about this, not only was it the first time that I'd really seen it being used in public, was that despite the massive variety that Deville's come in, I saw two colorways and I probably easily saw 15 Deville's. I saw the light pink version, and then I also saw the light gray with sort of a dark gray black leather trim. And so it was very interesting to me that despite all the different versions, these were the two that every single person was carrying. The other thing that I only saw two colorways of despite the wide array of colors and styles was the Telfar bags. Now I've talked about Telfar on this channel before. It's not a bag that's really my style, but it's definitely a much cheaper alternative to getting a bag like the Neverfull to have a tote on the plane. Again, I saw it in two colors, the green and the orange. Didn't matter what size it was in, people were carrying the green or they were carrying the orange. The orange makes sense because the state that I live in, the state university's colors are orange and white. So a lot of fans probably carrying that orange bag, but it really did surprise me that I only saw two colorways in that bag. Now, aside from what people are carrying, what are people wearing? And there were a couple of trends that I saw. First off, white sneakers. White sneakers were everywhere. There are obviously tons of variety. The Nike Air Force Ones were by far the most popular for men and women in the plain white or in a white with some type of pop of color. But I also did see quite a lot of the white McQueen sneaker with different pops of colors on them. And I thought that was very interesting because you don't necessarily see a whole lot of McQueen all over the place, but those were actually very, very popular. Now, the other thing that a lot of people were wearing is monochrome sweatsuits. And obviously, they're ones that you clearly just threw on a sweatsuit. They don't look overly nice, let's be honest but there are some that are very, very, very chic. And the one that I want to specifically highlight is the Devon Windsor set. Now there is the L sweatshirt and the Ellie sweatpants. These are each $132. If you sign up for messages, you get 15% off. Fortunately, they didn't go on sale over Black Friday weekend, but these are just the absolute chicest sweatsuits that I've ever seen. I was so just fascinated and just in love with how chic that this woman looked in her sweatsuit that I had to go up and ask her what brand it was. And I normally don't do that because I feel like that that's kind of rude and intruding on people, but I had to know. And this sweatsuit is truly fabulous. And anytime that I've ever seen anything in an airport that I've actually gone up and asked someone where it was because I thought it was so fantastic, it's been Devin Windsor. And this happened to me in Hawaii. It happened on, I believe it was the New Orleans trip that I just went on. And so this is really, I think, a brand to look into for leisure wear if you are going to be traveling. Now, past outfits, overwhelming accessory I saw, the Apple AirPods Max. Everyone was wearing them over their ears as headphones or around their neck once it was finally time to board. And the most popular color that I saw was the green version that they're doing. And I haven't listened to these to know if they're actually good quality or not but I will say they do look super chic and cool. And I am very into green. Green is one of my favorite colors. And so seeing these people with the green headphones everywhere, it definitely makes me want to at least go and listen to them. Although I don't see myself buying them anytime soon because I'm very happy with my Bose headphones. And then finally, what jewelry were people wearing in the airport? There were a lot of David Yurman cable bracelets, particularly in the thicker ones. Now I have a couple of the thinner bracelets, which work for me, but going with just one thick David Yurman bracelet is a real way to have a piece of statement jewelry that doesn't break the bank and you can just wear one bracelet. Now the other thing that I saw a lot of was diamond studs. A lot of women were wearing their diamond studs on the plane. And then watches. I did see a whole lot of watches this trip. The most popular one being Rolex. I saw so many different varieties of Rolex watches, but I also did see a lot of tag hers, particularly when I was on the Southwest. So on these different trips, I was flying Southwest, I was flying Delta, and so those are different terminals in most airports and you're going to see different looks because Delta obviously has like first class, business, comfort plus. Southwest, great airline that is more budget friendly oftentimes. And so you're just going to see different looks. Louis Vuitton was on both, Telfar was on both. I really just saw Chanel and Hermes on Delta. I did not see any of that on the Southwest flights. 
but I did see Yerman everywhere on both of those flights. And so I found that very interesting. I also thought it was really funny. My husband's very sweet and always offers to carry my bags. And so if he's traveling with me, I will bring my Louis Vuitton duffel because he'll carry it for me. Yeah, but everyone was complimenting him on my Louis Vuitton duffel. And so if you're a guy looking for a duffel, go for a Louis Vuitton, you will get compliments. And with that, if you are going to be traveling over this holiday season, I hope that you have found this to be a helpful video. The next video that I'm going to have up is actually going to talk about renting luxury cars or just cars in general through Turo. It won't be a sponsored video. This is just something that my husband and I have been doing while traveling this year that we love. And so if you're going to be traveling over the holidays and needing to rent a car, make sure to be subscribed to check out the next video because this is going to be a way better deal than going through someone like Hertz. So with that, hope you have a great rest of your day, YouTube. Bye!